Hey, how's it going fellas? Welcome back to Toy Hunters for Rust. This is part two of the Rampage review. And as I said on the previous video, we're gonna go, we're gonna be talking about Jubilee. Oh MG. I thought I'd never see the day that I would own Jubilee. I know there was a Jubilee release from um, a couple years back. It was a Toys R Us exclusive for um, what was the build figure? Oh yeah, Storm. But as terrible as it was to collect the uh, Toys R Us exclusives last year or maybe two or three years ago, I never actually saw that that whole wave. I only saw like um, no. Wait a minute, it wasn't Storm. She was the build figure. I'm sorry. She was the builder figure, it was the ultimate jubilee, I believe. And uh and uh pretty much um yeah she was just like ridiculously high. But now take that market. <laughs> we actually got a $20 Jubilee single piece, and it's not other than uh Jim Lee's take on the Jubilee, which is pretty nice. Let's crack her open. Well, as always, I don't know if you wanna let me get this camera a little bit high right there yeah right there if you want to read that you have the artwork right there uh, I really need to work on this camera thingy so yeah there there you have it the artwork on the side on the back all the other figures big guy over here nothing much on the bottom let's crack her open so I also saw the, what was it going to be the, no not the Retro Wave, but I think it's going to be the Sasquatch, no not Sasquatch, uh, Wendigo, build the figure wave. They're going to release a Boom Boom, and it's just like a retool of Jubilee, again Hasbro being Hasbro. I guess it's a good thing that they can re just keep reusing the, mo the molds. And make new characters. Just give it different colors. And an extra head. Ooh, what was that? Holy smokes, actually. Two visors fell off. That's crazy, it was like hitting one uh, one behind the other. Wow. That's cray cray. Okay, so she, she came with the torso. We're gonna talk about that later. I'll just toss it over there. <laughs> Alright. So here we have Jubilee. Oh wow. Ring coat and everything. Huh. Interesting how they did the hand. And this one. I don't know if they intended on that, but. Okay, so this one we have the standard, you know, swivel for the wrist, right? And if we look at this one, we don't have it like that. But instead she has a sideways. So I don't know if they intended for that. If that's the way it's supposed to be. But that's new for me. I don't know. I don't know if they've done it before. But yeah, it is indeed new for me. And I gotta tell you, she doesn't look bad. And yeah, the visor is glued to her head. I guess like you could warm it up to take it off. But I don't know if you want to do that. What else is good here? Oh wow. No, she just looks good. She looks nice and small like she's supposed to be. Really like that. The transparent visor really gives her that look. They even took care of the detail for the for the earrings. So that's nice. Nice sculpting on the hair. But here's where I'm going to draw the line. That, look at that gap right there. 
What the hell happened there? Hmm. I don't know. Could they have done something for it? I mean, I get it. I guess they were hoping for the Renko to cover it. But jeez, that's, that's a lot of gapage right there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Perhaps, yeah, they should... I don't know, maybe they cut too... Yeah, it looks like they cut way too much out of the plastic here. Look. And, and then the ball the ball peg is too, too big too. I don't know, I guess... Posing is key. But anyway, another thing that's lacking is another extra hands, you know. Relax hands, I don't know, more more accessories. I keep t I keep saying that, but accessories are important to me. Extra hands would have been nice. Effects for her little sparkling attacks. Yeah. Come on, you can give special effects to Dazzler. You cannot give effects to Jubilee. Come on. I guess I gotta look in my little fodder little box and see what what effects I can give her. But yeah, the trench, the raincoat is flexible. Well, not flexible, but it's malleable. Hey, that, I, I guess that kind of works. Huh. Okay, cool. So as you saw, the head is on the ball peg. Jeez. I don't know, now it's bugging me, that, that gap. Ball peg for the torso. Finally, there's rotation right there on the hip. Single jointed elbows. Not much going on there. A swivel right there for the arm, which is weird. The other one is like normal. Cool. Full rotation on the arm. Can go about that high. Not bad. She can kick not that high. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knee. Yeah. Rotation right down the shin, hinge for the foot and ankle rocker. Standard for Marvel Legends. Yeah, she don't look too bad. She came with an extra head, which I already dropped. Never mind. Here it is. This one comes with the bubble gum. Just not too shabby. But now, you cannot take out the, the visor, you will have to warm it up and loosen it up and then take it off. But yeah, that's it. Came with two visors, I guess, I, I, I don't know. So I guess you could give it to her like this. See, they actually stay in place, I don't get it. Why, why would they glue them on instead of just leaving it like this? Hey, doesn't fall. Again, Hasbro being Hasbro. I mean, I really like uh, the fact that now I get to add um, a Jubilee to my X-Men shelf. So that's nice. I didn't have to pay that ridiculous amount that people were asking online for that Jubilee build figure. Plus, you know, her outfit sucked. Sure, go ahead, fight me. I don't care. She sucked on that outfit. I didn't even like it. Plus, I grew up with her, so I'm good, I'm good with this one. But anyway, that's going to be it for this part 2 of the Rampage Review Jubilee. Coming up next, we're going to be talking about our purple chick over here. The Yeah, Blink. <laughs> Blink is coming up next. Please uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, you already know the routine. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment uh, to see what, what you guys think of that figure. You guys have it. You don't have it. Uh, are you waiting for a sale or what's going on here? Why are you passing on that figure? And that's gonna be it for this video. Well, thank you very much for your time as always. I'm your host Ibni. You were watching Toy Hunters of Russ. See you guys on the next one. Peace